So that brings us to the category for makeup and hair design, sponsored by MAC. I always spend hours in hair and makeup, not necessarily because I need it, but because I like to know who's having sex with who. <laughs> to present this award, we welcome a young star of the screen with a big future from Misfits and Homefront. Please welcome Antonia Thomas. Makeup and hair design is a challenging craft that requires a wide range of skills. For starters, you need to get up earlier than anyone else. You need to work with meticulous attention to detail on living, breathing canvases. And crucially, you need to be able to pretend to turn a deaf ear to all of the outrageous gossip that can be heard on the makeup truck. Tonight's nominees truly are masters of their craft. Let's remind ourselves of that. Makeup and hair design. Christine Wormsley Cotton. Call the midwife. Thank you. Uh, uh, Please. Right. Dean Prigg, Neil Gorton, Clinton Aiden Smith, the girl. May I present my wife. Mrs. Hitchcock, how lovely. Alma, dear, always Alma. Just as pretty in person as on the screen. Oh, look at me. I'm a Minnesota country girl who thinks it never rains in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you may serve the champagne. Now, Tippy, my dear, don't pretend you haven't seen our small gift. Well, you shouldn't have. Jan Archibald. Parade's end. Sylvia, excuse me. Oh, no, please stay if you can, Bertram. Stay at your peril. Sylvia has a bit between her teeth. <laughs> well, if I can have a drink for a few minutes. I'm concerned for Edward. Campion. Mm. Why has he got a glorified quartermaster's job fitting out troops for General Perry's command? Because it's a vital job and Campion does it superbly. Eileen Buggy, Sharon Doyle, Ripper Street. Rose? It's all right, Percy's with me. Thinking of joining up, ain't you? Business good? Never better. So long as we don't get copped and find the right distribution, Rosie here will be lighting them up in Blackpool. Sarah Bernhardt and I should be one of a piece. You already are, Rose. You already are. <laughs> And the BAFTA goes to Christine Wormsley Cotham for Call the Midwife. None more surprised than me, I have to say. Thank you, Neil Street. It was a lot of fun and a lot of hard work. So thank you to Pippa and to Hugh and to Philippa, our lovely director, and to my fantastic team, uh, Kay, Natalie, and Catherine. It's for them. Thank you. Thank you. Christine, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, how does it feel? It feels wonderful, um, actually. I know that you've won one before, but does it still mean as much winning again? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Because once you've won one, you think, well, I'll never get to that standard again. But you've still got the fight in you to well, keep the standard up. Well, that's pretty. Well, is there a pressure on you, is there? Mm. So when you're booked for a job as well, they go, she wins BAFTAs, get her. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're like, oh, no. No, no. Um, but Call the Midwife, I mean, it has got a lot of challenges as well, because there are some, co there's, there's a need for makeup quite a lot of the time. There's a lot of challenges, not just um, getting the girls to look right, but we have all the babies and all the births and you know, sometimes sores and horrible ulcers on legs and uh, overgrown toenails and, oh, yes, and we had a spina bifida baby and all sorts of things. 
you never know until the script arrives. It's quite an exciting department, the, the makeup department. Yes. I've not been to Call the Midwife, I've been to the sets of Casualty, you know, yes. and I've been in there. What you can create is amazing. Yes, and but sometimes, interestingly enough, you know, somebody just walks in and less is more. It's sometimes just the simplest things you do to them and they just look as if they've walked out of the 50s. Yeah, because also because it's period, um, a period drama as well, do you have to look back through different books and whatnot to get ideas of the kind of makeup they would have worn? Yes. I mean, it was a very um, minimalistic makeup show because you have to put yourself in the shoes of the characters there and most of the women that you know make you know the subjects of most of the stories have probably got five or six children and they don't have much money they have very little time they just need to get the children you know had their breakfast and get off to school so they wouldn't have time for makeup but they would have actually given each other home perms <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Oh, the class of it all, yes, lovely. Yes. Um, so will you be uh, working on the next series as well? No, I'm not. Okay. I've so done 15 episodes. I've done the first two series, which were wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Okay, so we'll see you for another drama maybe next year then. <laughs> um, where, will, where will this have to go? This will go um, the other side of the books to keep them standing. Very nice. Well, look, enjoy your night. Congratulations Thank again. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.